Hi, welcome to Narish IT. This is Kishore, and today we are going to discuss about friend class. Already in previous session, we have discussed that what is a friend function and how to introduce a friend function to the class. Today, we are going to discuss about friend class. Okay, regarding to the previous session, a friend function is a non-member function. A friend function is a non-member function of a class, but it is able to access the private data of those classes where it is introduced as a friend. Here the point is only the friend function can access the private data, but I want to access the whole data from another class. Okay? I want to access the whole data of a class from another class. In this situation, we are having only the chances that is friend class. That is why a friend class is uh, just introduced as a friend to another class. Whenever a class is introduced as a friend to another class, now this class is able to access all the private members of that class. And here in this situation, the introduced class is called, the introduced class is called container class and the declared class, where we have declared the friend class is called contained class. Okay? Here we are having container class and as well as contained class. Container class which is the existing class means which is the primary class. Whenever this class is introduced as a friend to another class, that class is called contained class and this relationship is called, this relationship is called combination. Okay? That is why here I am going to explain what is friend function and what is friend class. Okay? First of all, I am going to give one example on friend class, how to introduce one friend class. First, uh, for example, general header files, hash include iostream.h and hash include some conio.h. Okay? And here, one more thing is, we can declare friend class in two different ways. One is directly declaring the friend class in one class and accessing in another class. Second one is by declaring the object of one class in another class, we can access the private members. Now, I will show you the both methods. First, uh, how to introduce the friend class. Suppose there is a class called uh, test1. Okay. Here, some data members like A, B. Now, A and B are private data members. And as per C++ data hiding concept, uh, private data should not be available outside the class. Okay? Here, private data is not available outside the class. Then, how to access the private data means, we should have to declare public member function. That is why here, in public area, Okay. Generally, we are going to write some functions. Now, the point is here I want to access this data through friend function or friend class. That is why what I have to do is I have to declare a friend class inside this class. Okay. That means I want to access this private data from another class. But actually, the rule is what the private data should be accessed within the class only. But I want to access this private data from another class. For this, we should have to declare another class as a friend to this class. That is why here friend, which class for example, test2. Okay. Now, friend class test2. Here watch it, test1 is what the first class okay. and here it is having the private data. Now, I want to access this private data from test2 class. For this, first of all, I have to introduce the test2 class as a friend. Now, okay, both are friends. Here, void get ab. Suppose, it is a member function to access the ab values. Okay. Here, I want to enter some data. See out, enter ab values. Next, C in A, B. 
now the function closed class also closed and here watch this test one is the class a b are the private members and to access this private data i have used a member function called get a b through the get a b i am reading the values for a and b but there is no put function now i want to print this a b values from test 2 class that's why first of all i have to define the class test 2 next here there is no data requirement why because already we are having the data in test 1 class i want to access a b from test 2 that's why here there is no need of any data directly i am going to public section next uh, i want to access this data through test 2 function that's why here one function called put a b here the point is put a b is the member of test 2 okay put a b is the member of test 2 and through the put a b function i want to access the a b of test 1 that's why here in brackets you should have to send object as argument because of the private data is not available outside the class okay the rule is what private data should not be visible private data is not visible outside the class then how it is possible means only through the class type parameters now class type parameter is called what object that's why here test1 t1 now t1 is the object of test1 now i am going to access t1 ab here see out a equal to t1 dot a and now it is going to print a value first of all and next line c out b equal to t2 or t1 dot b and function closed class also closed now watch this example actually a b are available or declared in test 1 but we are accessing a b from test 2 because of test 2 is declared as a friend to test 1 okay in this situation only we can access the test 1 data through the test 2 for example now i am going to make a comment now it is giving error here okay undefined symbol a undefined symbol b otherwise test 2 or test 1 colon colon a is not accessible test 1 colon colon b is not accessible we are going to get that error that's why to avoid this error you should have to introduce test 2 as a friend that's why i'm going to remove the comment now test 2 is the friend okay already we have discussed that whenever we are having the friends they can access our data means our mobile everything okay like this that is nothing but the friend class concept next here what happened we are declaring test 1 object inside the test 2 okay in this situation okay in this situation test 1 is called container class now it is the container class and test 2 is having what test 1 object that means what happened one class contains the object of another class now in this situation this class is called contained class okay now it is the existing class and this existing class object is declared in another class and that class is called contained class and this relationship is called composition this relationship is called composition that's why composition is the process of composition is the process of declaring one class object in another class declaring the object of one class within another class this one is called composition now with this what happened one class data is reused in another class okay now test 1 a b is reused in test 2 that's why composition allows the concept of reusability okay that's why friend class allows the concept of reusability means once again we are using the existing data in another class okay but here it doesn't allows the extensibility it is the most important thing 
Now generally in interviews they are asking the question what is the difference between composition and inheritance ok. Actually it is looking like inheritance concept, but it is quite different why because in inheritance what happens we are we are deriving a class we are deriving a class from existing class that is why the derived class is having both the base class properties and derived class properties ok. Observe the difference between composition and inheritance in composition what happening just uh, we are declaring the existing class object in another class due to this what happens that existing class data once again used in derived class means in contained class that means it allows only what reusability concept and it never allows uh, extensibility that means these properties are not added to test 2 no? here test 2 is able to access the test 1 data, but test 1 data is never added to test 2, but in inheritance what happens from test 1 we are deriving the test 2, this, this what happens now the test 2 is having both the test 1 data and its own data also. For example, here a b are there, here x y are there, now the test 2 data members a b and x y ok, that is why here the point here a b data members here x y data members both are available. In inheritance what happens now the derived class ok, the newly created class is called derived class and the derived class contains both the base class members as well as derived class members that is why inheritance provides the concept of reusability and extensibility, but composition allows only the reusability it is the difference between inheritance and composition ok and to achieve this one we should have to declare this class as a friend to this class ok and this concept is called a composition next how to call this member functions how to call this member function now main function required ok later first of all we have to declare the objects test 1 t 1 test 2 t 2. Now two class objects are created one is from test 1 another one is test 2 next here get a b member function is the member of test 1 that is why t 1 dot get a b ok. Now when this function is called what happens c out c in is working that is why here when get a b is called enter a b values now the user is entering some data now they are going to store in both a and b next we have to print this data but print function is available in test 2 and test 2 is what friend fun friend class that is why here t 2 dot put a b t 2 dot put a b of which data you want to print test 1 a b data that is why to access the test 1 a b data from t 2 you should have to send the t 1 object because of this function definition contains object as argument which class object test 1 class that is why here put a b is having t 1 as the argument now t 1 ok here it is the actual parameter it is a formal parameter now this one is going to print the t 1 a and t 1 b because of t 2 is the friend of uh, t 1 ok then only it is possible next uh, get ch program finish ok it is how to introduce one class as a friend to another class ok it is one kind of accessing class members from another class now I will show you how to access the class members from another class in different manner ok. We have discussed uh, in two ways now one is what defining a friend class another one is what declaring the object in another class directly ok. It is how to access the one class data members from another class ok. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.